Hi guys and welcome back to another Sun of Glowing video with me James. Uh, a little bit different to what most people are doing at the moment and some of the other things that I'm doing. Um, I'm going to put together some Oscillith ruins that I picked up when I was at Articon as well. Um, so hopefully I'll have some of these done and I can do a few army showcases with some stuff in the background instead of it just being in front of, I don't know, probably this whiteboard over here. Um, so hopefully I'll come back to you when I've got something put together. Right then guys, coming back in now that I've assembled a few things. Uh, didn't actually take that long, which is quite lucky because I haven't got that much time to mess around with tonight. But um, I've managed to get some of these Osteogiliath ruins together. And if you guys have seen them before, they're, they're pretty good. You know, quite, quite an easy plastic kit to put together. Um, you know, a few statues. Um, oh, knock that one over. And then, um, you know, quite big pieces as well. Well, uh, we've got a model spare. We've got gimmers. Here we go. Very apt. Just to uh, squeeze in here. You know, they're pretty good. And I'll be painting these up. Just the, the, the standard grey, to be honest, style, spray and black, and then just dry brush the hell out of them and see how far we get. But, um, there we are, that's what I've managed to put together so far tonight. Um, and I'll probably come back in a few days to finish these off because I'm hoping it won't take too long. You know, coat them, dry brush them, done. And hopefully I'll get this video out as soon as possible. And we're coming back in a few days later. Um, I've managed to pick up some tester paints. Like this. A few different shades of grey. So I can get these on. And then I've used a couple of browns and greens so far. Just mixed up all in there. If you can see it properly. Not really showing up that well, that's a bit better. Just sticking browns and greens in some of the grooves and recesses and stuff. And in a minute, I'm going to give it another dry brush and a couple of greys and see how it comes out before I do some of the wooden bits that are scattered around. There we go, all finished up. <coughs> we can get it to focus in. This has taken me a couple of hours this morning, it hasn't taken that long. Um, but as you can see I've dry brushed back over with a couple of um, greys and things. Might touch up these steps here, just gone a bit heavy on the old dry brush, but um, quite happy with these. You can't really tell that the greens and the browns are in there, but um, it really does make a difference. Instead of it just being like quite a harsh cold stone, it uh, you know, makes it a bit more, a bit more interesting, and uh, a bit softer. You can see a bit of the green in there on that bit, but um, really happy with this. And hopefully, now that I've got some scenery sorted, um, I will attempt to do some more showcases and stuff now I've got some interesting stuff to put in front of rather than just on here on top of some boxes um, just show it off a little bit but like in here you can see some of the browns in the corners and it just looks a little bit more natural than having that um that black undercoat I may go over this at some point and uh, put a little bit more greens and things in it and one day I will actually make some bases for them and um, mount them up get some sort of like moss and things coming down the sides build up some bushes around uh, the bases of them and things and hopefully I'll have some cool terrain that doesn't look too bad 
open on there. There we go. It's fixing a bit better. But um, the, these kits are great. Pretty sure I said it the other day. Not such recording the start of this. But um, they are great. They are good. Um, and as you can see, the, done the wood on here. Still a little bit wet. But um, just a few dry brushes. I uh, base coated it in uh, Rhino Tide and then dry brushed it up with a couple of other colours. And then gave it a quick wash. The only thing is, I didn't know what to do with the bottom. So it's just a bit... A bit poor, but you don't see the bottom of there very often. Um, and yeah, and there we are. So hopefully I will crack on with some Iron Hills Dwarves now. And I'll have that and the progress of that put up for you in the near future. Thanks for watching guys. And I will see you again in my next video where hopefully we've got some Iron Hills Dwarves put together and ready to go.